Okay, it is Friday. Friday. <laughs> okay, update on hair. This and I never did color it. You know, Tuesday I had made the comment that was on last night's vlog. Um, I didn't put my products in it because I was going to color it. Notice my roots. Yeah, yeah. It ain't been colored. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. So all I've been doing here lately is just pulling it back with my barrettes. Thank you, Bridget. <laughs> but um, I had, this is, last night I washed it. And I just took and put it up on top of my head in a ponytail holder. I can't even find it now. In just a plain ponytail holder in a bun. This morning I took the ponytail down, did like that, and this is what I have. Yeah, yeah, and so I just, I've gone back to my, yeah, I did a little bit of that in a couple of spots. It's mainly like at the back of my head, I guess where my pillow or something, I'm not sure, but I can kind of, you know, I can tell by feel, you know, if it feels soft or if it feels frizzy, so, but yeah, yeah, this is what I'm, dealing with at this point. Thanks for all the comments and the encouragement of don't cut it off. Don't cut it off. A friend of mine, Mandy Ballard, she used to do um, Biblical Homemaking. I think that was the name of the blog. She just kind of disappeared. If anybody knows what happened to Mandy Ballard, please let me know. Um, I made a blanket for her Sun Zane, and then I made a blanket for their baby girl that was born right after Zane. She was like number eight, seven or eight. And then she maybe just kind of disappeared. So, but she had Merida from Brave Hair. Like, literally, she was a natural redhead. Her hair was down to here, if not longer. Just massive curls, and it it wasn't flat at the top. She'd have it where it would be curled up here. I need to know her tips and her secrets. Um, um, yeah, y'all keep finding me in the bathroom. <laughs> got my morning coffee. I've been up since six. That man got me up. Bed has been made. Meds have been taken, praise Jesus. Um, like I said, I am on the antibiotic. Um, I'll do that for a month. And I got to thinking about it last night. I just kept coughing and coughing and wheezing and coughing. And I finally remembered what they had told me of if I got to coughing like that to use my inhaler. I've got a rescue inhaler. And so, and even Fat Man made the comment, where's your inhaler? And um, so, I finally did it. Well, I did two or three, you know, and I was still coughing and wheezing. So, um, I'm trying to pick out a necklace. Yeah, I got some zhuzhi zhuzhis. Um, I think I'm going to go... With my big bling. Yeah. Anywho. Um, <coughs> see? Uh, I tried Mucinex this morning. So we're going to try that and see. Um, and I did notice before I took it, I was wheezing. Oh, this might be too much with this type of sweater. We're going to see. Um, but uh, I took Mucinex extended release. So I only have to do one every 12 hours. So we're going to see what happens with that. Um, I know if it gets bad, I'm supposed to do, um, 
breathing treatment. I do have the machine. It's old as the hills, um, but I can do it. Um, if that doesn't work, I could go to urgent care of the ER until I could get to my physician Monday. Wah, wah. Um, yeah. We're going to just pray that the Mucinex ER, <laughs> and basically my breathing treatments I do here at home, that is all technically they would do at the ER, um, other than like steroids. And I might even have a backup bottle. Now that I said that, I might have a backup bottle of steroids. They usually have me. I do, I do, I do. They usually make me keep backup bottles of like the antibiotics, the steroids, um, antifungals, um, yeast medications like nystatin, diflucan, um, steroids. They'll have me keep like backup bottles where like if something happens like at night or um, over the weekend because mine progresses like that. I can't, I can't even hardly snap. Mine progresses, oh there we go. Mine progresses so fast. Um, yeah, I don't want to wind up. Hold on, dark hallway. Hey, y'all. Um, that's like when I did wind up in the ICU for the five days. That was in 2010. And they kept stressing the fat man. Don't you ever let her get this bad again. Don't you ever let her get this bad again. And I'm like, but it wasn't his fault. I'm the one that kept saying I'm not going to the doctor. <laughs> so it was not his fault. But, yeah. I see you for five days for pneumonia. Not good. Not good at all. No, yeah. So, I think that looks okay. Yeah, yeah. Show them a little bit of bling. All right, so today, Care Beth has therapy. I'm not going to answer any of the questions we have so far. Um, I've, we've been reading them. Um, me and Fat Man are going to do that this evening. That's going to be a different vlog. I'm doing this one. And I'm hoping we can do a Facebook Live. Um, and then it'll be recorded that way, you know, if you can't watch it live. Of course, you'll see this one. Yeah, hopefully I can upload this one before 6.30. There you go. Um, and I'll make an announcement. Tell me how the, um, if you're on Instagram, did it work for you? Were you able to see the entire, all, I think it was four or five clips? Um, we're still trying to figure out Insta stories. Um, and we're learning. I mean, I'll be the first to tell you, we learning. I'm trying to see if that's something on my cabinet or how it's made. Um, we'd be learning. Okay, but anywho, today holds that. I'm still on the fence about Costco. Part of me is telling me to go in, get get our $88, cash it out, go to Aldi, <laughs> and get meat. Um, but like I said, we like the Costco meat just a little bit better. I think I'm going to price it. I wish I knew if I could get like the markdown meat at Aldi. Um, you know, with the coupons on them. Um, I guess what I could do, that's a lot of trips there. Hold on. My lips. I am so sorry. Have any of y'all ever, and I did not know they made such, have you ever seen the sugar, the lips sugar scrubs? I didn't know it was a thing. Didn't know it was a thing. 
and I was watching somebody, um, Haley, yeah, it used to be the Cooper family, and now it's hanging at home with Haley or something, um, she's got the three little girls now, but anywho, um, she had done the Target subscription box, ouch, no, was it her? Anywho, it was somebody, um, They did the Target subscription box thing. And they did the lips. And there was a lip sugar scrub. And then there was also a lip mask. I didn't know they made such. But mine, where I get so dry, I can do like that. I mean, you'll wind up seeing that line. And I can do like that. And it's almost like dried skin. Or whether I have on lipstick or not. Um... And I've tried Carmex, I've tried Blistex, I've tried um, the Burt's Bees, um, I even got the, the Organic, I forgot the name of it. It does have a color tint. I love it because it does have a color tint. Um, we got it at the Durban Farm uh, Farmer's Market. It was an Organic and I've got it in my bag. Um, and when they get real dry feeling, I'll, if I remember, I'll get it and put that on. Um, but let me know if y'all have ever heard of a lip sugar scrub. And does it work? I mean, what's the difference between that and just wash my face? You know, and we've been, me and Becca have been having the discussion of the eyebrow thing. I know I need to, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anywho, um, we are going to go back to budget or maybe money Monday or, I don't know, throw down Tuesday. <laughs> throw down Thursday because <laughs> it's the day before Bay Day. Um, yeah, yeah, we have to have some serious budget discussions. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, it's almost eight. I'm going to quit rambling. Like I said, you're just going to kind of, well, you can't go in the therapist with us, but there you go. And that's more of a Q&A anyway. So... Um, I don't know what the day is going to hold for this evening. i got to get my planner. Look at it. I've already taken my meds. I did want to show y'all my hair. Um, I am dressed. Da, 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 da. I don't have on my, I'm still in my slippers. Y'all, I've got these at Aldi. Oh, my sweet Annie's. They were on clearance for four dollars. They are wonderful. Yeah, they have the hard bottom. I'm gonna. They have the hard bottom, so I can actually wear them outside, even though the carport is wet. Yeah, it's the Sierra brand, which is the Aldi brand, and they are wonderful. I don't have on any socks. And my feet are warm and toasty. Even the backs. It is 30. I think that man said it was 34 degrees outside when he went to go crank up his truck. The truck registered 34. So, it's cold. Um, honey, we've had so much rain, I'm waiting on Noah to float by. Hey, hon, I'm going to ask you when he floats by. Hey, hon, how you doing? You got room for Big Mama and a couple of dogs and fat van. We got to take care of Beth. Yeah. <laughs> and Becca Boo Boo. Oh, my Becca Boo Boo. Seriously, if any of y'all have a single sweet, good Christian young man that my sweet single Christian young woman needs to meet 
There you go. Yes, ma'am. Um, we've got a lot of questions about her. We are going to answer those tonight. In fact, we're probably going to get her in on the Q&A for that part. We're going to kind of let them. Yeah, yeah. I think I talked about maybe inviting some of the kids ever. And that man was like, yeah, that'd be cool. You know, we hadn't had them over since, oh, we had everybody over one Sunday. We were trying to get in the habit of having a big family meal. And we might start back doing that on Sundays, I think. Maybe the third Sunday of each month. I don't know. I don't know how we used to do it. But, um, kind of getting, especially now that Brian's moved out, it was good to have him for supper and see him. And even Bo made the comment, it was good to visit with him. Glad he got in his truck. <laughs> our house is quieter without him. We did notice our water bill. I kid y'all not. We went from $59 a month this couple months ago. It was fifty nine forty seven. Okay? And I know it takes a couple of months to recalculate. Hey, I only moved out in January. Our bill for March is, and it was the usage from February, wherever they read it from so to so. I have to look back and say, but anyhow, it went from fifty nine forty seven. To I kid you not, thirty three twenty eight. Almost half. Almost half. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, that little turd and his two showers a day. <laughs> and he'd be in there for a good 40 minutes with the water running. Yes, ma'am. Now, I could understand the shower whenever he got home. Because the boy be nasty, okay? The boy be funky. He'd be covered, that how we had to replace the shower curtain liners. It would be black. He'd get that asphalt off. I understand that completely. You stand there for your 45 minutes. You scrub every part, every nook, every cranny. And you scrub your butt like they would if you were just getting into prison. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but in the morning, he would take another... 45 minute hot shower. What? You just had one last night. When you sleep, you ain't doing nothing in your sleep. Or you shouldn't be doing nothing in your sleep. You are alone. You in that bed. <laughs> I'm not going to get into that discussion. TMI, Mama don't need to know. TMI, TMI. Wait a minute. I got to get rid of that thought. Okay. <laughs> I just, uh, not my water bill. <laughs> he's on his own water bill now. <laughs> well, he doesn't have a water bill, but that's right. He's got well water. So good for that. I might be wise. The power bill was so. <laughs> he's got I like that hot water heater. <laughs> oh, our gas bill should go down because ours is gas. <laughs> oh, anywho, I'm fixing to get off of here. I done said that twice. Y'all know us Southerners. We'll take two hours to say bye. I'll be back. Okay, I just got through kind of digging around in the freezer. Hey, Becca's going to help me clean out the refrigerator and the freezer here in the kitchen. And then I kind of straightened up and organized the chest freezer in the utility room. And once I really can truly got kind of counting and looking through some of the meats that we have, I was trying to get a hold on what we needed as far as meats. I've got enough meat. I've got three things of chicken. It's a mixture of boneless, skinless thighs. I've got one pack of drumsticks. Kenny, what are you doing? He's crazy. Um, pork, I've got a good many bags of pork chops. I've got two things of brats, um, a thing of Polish kielbasa, um, 
and one little small pork tenderloin looks like seasoned. Um, it had a two dollar off all these sticker. Um, ground beef. I have this one thing that I took out for tonight for tacos, and then I've got one of the all the like big packs. Um, this in there, and then I've got hamburger patties. The more I think about it, the more I'm thinking. <laughs> Yeah, thinking's dangerous when you're talking about me. I, oh, and I did have this butt. Me and Fat Man have been talking about this butt. You see how it's wrapped up. I don't even remember when I bought it. But I did put on there raw. Because we would get smoked butts from the church. Um, yeah. And so... I wanted to remember that this one was right. It is way too big to go in my crock pot. This one reason why this booger is still in there. But I told him I am going to take it out. We're going to look at it. We're going to see if it's freezer burn. Because I honestly cannot remember when I put him in there. Um, I'm looking to see and I'm really not seeing. I double bagged him. Or I might have even triple bagged him. Here's the bag. There you can see a bag. And then I wrapped him up good and full. But I think I did triple bag him. Yeah, there's another bag. There's another. So he was, and granted, they weren't sealed up. But um, we had sucked all the air out. Um, I am not seeing any signs of freezer burn. So... We had talked about we're going to get him out. I'm going to thaw him out. This will be a weekend. We're going to do him this weekend. Fat Man's going to the lake and do some side work. Um, we don't have... Yeah. We don't have um, any events planned for this weekend. So I can cook him. I would love to have somebody smoking. But, uh, that's okay. Um, I've got some liquid smoke. Um, let me double check and make sure. Before I brag. Yes. I've got enough liquid smoke left. Yeah, I think there's enough left. How do they, why do they make it where you can't see how much you've got in there? I mean, I honestly can't tell you how much I got in there. Why? Why? Anywho, um, I think that's going to be our weekend go-to. Y'all know I like to whatever I do on Saturday, and I've gotten out of the practice. But whatever I do on Saturday, I like to double up, and that's our meal for Sunday, too. So, um, we aren't coming up on a first, are we? The first Sunday of each month, if we don't, okay, yeah, no, we don't. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, no. What is today? <laughs> We're just at the 21st. Okay. Yeah, we don't. Next Sunday will be the first. We will have communion and we will have Sunday lunch at church. So, um, this cat is going crazy by that box. I don't even know where he slid it to. What have you done? Oh, it's way over there. He is going bonkos. For boxes and paper, there's the box I bought to put Nikki's present in. Um, i got to finish getting that. I don't know, did I show y'all what it looked like? Where did I put it? In the frame. Hold on. I can't remember if I did or not. Hold on. Okay. This is what it looks like. She knows that Nikki loves her hens and the babies. And so, 
and something they loves to like kind of dress them up or they're, they're gushy gushy chickens and so Carol Beth did one in a tutu and she put a bow in her hair <laughs> because I had told Nikki about how when we had Matilda when we were still bottle feeding Matilda we had taken I did I put bows in Matilda's hair and so I had to send Nikki a picture of Miss Matilda with her bow in her hair um, it was a calf that we had bottle fed out um, and Matilda had such a personality that she was the only cow other than Chloe that had a true personality we could not eat that everybody asked how can you bottle feed those cows and love on them the way y'all do and then turn around and eat them and it's like we loved on them and gave them the respect and love and good care that they needed and they in return gave us good meat kind of like happy cows make happy cheese happy cows make happy steak um, it was better than being a feedlot cow. Y'all don't even want to know. Trust me. Our little free-range calves that we had that we would go out and gushy-gushy love on. They had it made. They had it made. Um, but Matilda had such personality. She's the one I could put bows in her hair. Even after she got grown, I could still call her. She would come. All of them knew their name. Um, all of them had names. Spot is the one that we kept and ate. Spot had a, a, a an everybody, everybody, anywho. I might have discussed this before. Anywho, this is Carol Beth's picture for Nikki. So, Nikki, this is, yeah, Carol Beth did that for you. Um, and I was feeling bad about my handwriting. And then Nikki showed her handwriting. She had to write a letter. I'm not saying to who, but she had to write a letter. And she's like this, you know, serial killer looking handwriting in the middle of the night. And I'm like, okay, I don't feel bad about reusing an Amazon envelope. <laughs> I need a padded envelope to protect this picture because I'm sending her some other stuff. And uh, she's my chicken sister. Um, so, anywho. I just, I had to show y'all that picture of Carol Beth that she done. And I found this cute frame. Y'all, I have not looked at frames in forever. Um, I usually wind up getting frames at the thrift store. I'm just going to be honest with you. But this, I wanted to get a, you know, and I could have gotten a nice frame at the thrift store. I forgot. When I was getting frames, I completely, totally forgot about the end picture so four dollars any size so and i love the rustic farm look yeah yeah i liked it i liked it they did have one that had like barn doors it was cute it was 13 dollars i left that there <laughs> yeah we didn't get that one we got the four dollar job Okay, it is now 8.15. I have to really sit down and start thinking about my day or I'm going to waste it. I'm in kind of a quandary now. It is time to go. And I can't find my glasses. Ruh, ruh, ruggy. <laughs> like, seriously. I have no clue where they are. And it would be helpful if I could see them. You know what I mean? But I can't see them because I don't have them on my head. Okay. Found them. Yeah. And I'm trying to get my chug filled with ice so I can take some bottled water with me. And uh, just fill up like a water fountain along the way. Um, how do I need to put my ice in my cooler? <gasps> yes, I forgot I got my Ulu cooler thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let me get that filled. Yes. I did that to just show kind of real quick. Look at this. Look what I discovered. The little hookies on my thermos, which I did put ice water in. Hook. 
to my um I didn't want it rolling around in the car now if it falls off that might be a different story but for right now it's not gonna be rolling around in the car right care Beth mm -hmm. right care Beth <laughs> hey Hans okay we have finally finally made it back home yeah it's 2 30 yeah we've been gone since 8 8 no uh, no 9 15 9 15 yeah 9.50. Yeah. It's been that long. But, we did go to Costco. I have my reward points. So, we only spent 30, really $30 there. Um, I got like 55 back. Um, if you don't use all your reward points, they give you the difference back in cash. And I knew I could get a lot more for my money at Aldi. So, I got just basically what I wanted. Well, not what I wanted, but what I needed. Um, at Costco, I'll show you like this. I'm just going to kind of... I got these for Care Beth. She loves the little non-dippers. And she technically still has some in the freezer. But these were on instant savings. They go off March the 1st. Um, they were only $3. And these are actually dated good tool. March the 14th. The one she did have, we had to hurry up and put in the freezer because they were expiring quickly. So, but they were like three something. I've always wanted to get the boneless, deboned rotisserie chicken. It's already cooked. This works out cheaper actually than buying the cooked rotisserie chickens, which I love the rotisserie chickens. Um, this actually works out cheaper. It is two pounds, ten ounces. So just shy of three pounds um, for twelve dollars. But you figure by the time you figure in the bone and standing there and deboning it, I'd rather just because you're gonna pay that for three whole chickens. Um, I just bought it this way. Life is about convenience and ease right now. Um, my other thing I got, what was my other thing I got from Costco? Oh, Carol Beth got a book. She got a book on Alabama Legends or something. It was $12. So those were our three items from Costco. Alright, on to Aldi's. It was $43 and that was with tax. I got... We're going to do it this way. I got two gallons of milk. The salad was 89 cents a pack. We're doing tacos tonight. So I got one. We're just going to use this as for tacos. It was cheaper than the lettuce, like seriously. Um, and then I got a pack for like lunches and that type thing. They're good till March the 4th. So for 89 cents, yes ma'am. Um, I'm trying to get Carol Beth to eat more yogurt. Um, so, we picked out the Moo Tubes, the Wacky Watermelon, and the Cherry Cherry. Um, they were completely out of waffles. So, and they're eating the light syrup. So, yay. Um, she got her standard weekly calzone. Um, I got sour cream because I was going to do... Um, poppy seed chicken casserole. I was going to make one the other day and I did not have any sour cream. So I needed sour cream for it and then sour cream for tacos for tonight and then because it used only used eight ounces for um, poppy seed chicken. Well, I use a little bit for tacos. Me and Becca are basically the only two that do it on our tacos. And so it'll leave enough that we can do um, Swedish meatballs. So we're going to do that one night. The fruit dip I was, and it's cheesecake flavored. I was tickled excited about this. This was normally two fifty nine. They had it on sale for seventy nine cents. It is good until March the twenty eighth. Um, yeah. Yeah, and 
I am thinking I can freeze this. Yeah. Yeah, I can freeze it if we don't use it in time. So I got three of those at 79 cents piece. Heck, yes. Um, I got my, oh, my frost waters. They're only 49 cents. I'm not one for sparkling water, but I love these. It gives me something a little bit different than just plain water all the time. So, and Carol Beth said she wanted to try some. So we got two orange mangoes and two black raspberries. So for 59, uh, 49 cents. The white mushrooms were on sale for 99 cents. Um, I figured I could add that to a meal to make it stretch or add it to the Swedish meatballs. That would be good with that. Um, I got some more light, non-fat vanilla yogurt. Um, blueberries were on sale again. So I grabbed one of those. And some cream cheese because when I was cleaning out the freezer, I found some bagels. I found like three things of bagels. So cream cheese to go with that. That is all my cold stuff. Now, let's show you what I got that's like boxed or canned, if I can get up. Hey, y'all. Oh. 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 oh, my Lord. Brian got a kitty cat. I'll have to show you the pictures in a minute. But on the Aldi website, it showed you take these. It's just the little yogurt things from Aldi. And you put cat treats down in it, and the cats will go crazy batting it around trying to get it. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And they, I mean, you know, for free, um, they needed chips for lunches. So, I got that. That's next week's sale ad. My unsalted roasted sunflower seeds. I can eat basically all those that I want and that's what I eat if I want a crunch instead of chips I won't eat the chips bananas we tried to get some that were somewhat ripe um, we're going to have the baby Sunday we're going to take her to church so Care Beth Chip picked Honey Nut Cheerios it's the Aldi brand the family size it was only $2.39 um, yeah yeah I got some pumpkin and black seed granola to go with my yogurt. I know technically I'm not supposed to have the yogurt, but um, he told me he did want me having a good probiotic on my stomach with the antibiotic that I'm on right now. So, um, light syrup to go with those waffles. And then her treat that she picked for this week, the ho ho cupcakes. I asked her if she wanted a crunchy treat like pretzels or something like that. She was like, no. Mm -mm. Of course not, Mom. So, yeah. Okay. That is it for our, and I'm going to work on a menu plan, and I will get all this loaded up. And we're still doing Q&A tonight. So, 6.30 Central Standard Time. Yeah, get those questions on in. Oh, one other, well, two other quick things. I was going to show you a picture of Brian's kitty cat. Let's see if I can get to it. This one-handed working with a phone thingamabob. Yeah. He's got a solid black cat, which he was going to name Boo. He named him Demon. And he's underneath the bed. I assured him that once he gets used to being out of the shelter, you don't know what kind of life he was living before the shelter, if he was a stray cat. I mean, you don't know. Um, yeah, yeah. So I assured him, give him a couple of days, give him a week or so. Might take him a while. He'll eventually come on around. I'm just like, um, yeah. And then, I dread medical bills. I mean, every time we get something from 
UAB Hospital or Baptist Hospital or Jackson's Hospital or the University of or whatever. We hold our breath. If we get something from Blue Cross Blue Shield, we hold our breath. We know it's coming. We know it's not good. Okay? The first time ever in our life, and I'm not going to flip it over, but it is a check. It's not much considering how much we paid. Well, I'll go ahead. $60. We got $60 back. Now, granted, tomorrow in the mail, we will probably have a bill. And I did open up some Blue Cross bills. But we got back $60. Granted, I just need to endorse it and send it right on back to <laughs> But we got a check back. One for the roads. <laughs> that never happens. Ever. Watch. Right when we put it like in the savings account or something, we're going to get a, Oh, we didn't mean to give you a check. That was supposed to have been a bill. <laughs> oh, I can't laugh at her. <laughs> uh, all right, so adjust your, yeah, uh, your stuff. Um, the water jug worked out wonderful. Yes, to the ma'am. I've had my water jug all day. Yeah. All right, I got to get groceries put away, get this uploaded, and get ready for Q&A tonight.